Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel. A couple of you guys noticed on the new trailer, I'm not running the deck on the neck anymore. That's not the new trailer. The new trailer is over there hooked up to the truck. It gets used on a regular basis. The reason I'm not running the deck on the neck on the new one is because I was actually worried about my overall weight when loaded. Because haul around 25,000 pound machines with the pickup, ah, you know, truck and trailer weighs 20, machine weighs 25, throw a bunch of other gear on there. I didn't really feel like I wanted to tow much more than that. I wanted to shed a little bit of weight. So the deck on the neck is super handy. I want to use it. I want to try to be able to haul possibly multiple rigs on this truck. And I was going to make a video installing the deck on the neck on my dump trailer. My new, it's not new, but it's a couple years old. Ordered that one with the bolt-on deck on the neck. It actually it missed a shipment. Didn't show up at the trailer. Had to go get it months later. Not a big deal. I installed that. Forgot to make a video. But the idea of the deck on the neck is your gooseneck's eating up all your bed space and all that real estate. It'd be nice to use some of that again. They do have new step deck Diamond Sea trailers, which are friggin' unbelievably awesome. Because you could just drive skid steer damn near up on that. But this one here, throw an extra couple buckets, skid steer attachments up on the neck. And then you can still haul payload in the back. You know, if you're hauling logs, brush, mulch, gravel, whatever, you can still have some buckets up there. So, I want to use the deck on the neck that came with 40K, and I'm going to put it on the 212 trailer. And then once we get that done, we're going to go get an 080 tomorrow morning, bring you guys along with me. We might even use the 3500 just to change things up just a little bit. Because people go, well, why'd you get a 5500, not a 3500? 3500 was better. I already have a 3500, people. I got the 3500 six years ago now. It is still kicking ass. Let's go get an excavator and the deck off something over there. Bring it down to where I can reach it. I think it needs to go backwards just a little bit. I need to go get a tape measure. You see that I got up there and there was only one tie down? But we made it happen. That was sketchy. Alright. Got the Stanley out. Two feet to the crease right there. What do you think? What do you think? Ah. Twenty-four on this side, twenty-five on that side. We were close. Tom. Oh. Gotta be quick. 40. Once you got, you know, your measurement needs to be on both sides. Once you hit on one side, technically, you're there. This should be 24 and a half. Yep. I'm gonna go get the kit to bolt this son of a gun on. Okay. Not gonna lie, this seems like it'd be a, the simplest thing in the world, but I had to go look at the other trailer and even the better half couldn't figure it out. So. Put both bolts in there, right there. <laughs> slide that thing over there, put it on top of the beam, and then you got it inside and an outside. Let's see if I can get it right the first try. Now, backwards, got the wrong one. 
You would think it'd be like some clamps for like putting on a, what do you call it? A camper shell or something like that. They got an elaborate design that looking at it when it's in the box, you go, mm -mm, I don't see it. And then you put it on there, you go, okay, that, that makes sense. It pulls it down and then sandwiches it on the bottom side and then it's got a little lip right there so it doesn't lock. Bolts are easy fall offs too. Hey boot! Can you hand me that nut? Where is it? <laughs> Good look down the scope to find it, huh? No. There's the deer side today. <laughs> Where to go? Okay. All right. Now let Taylor put hers in. Do you need a second or two to? I think you could just tilted that when you're up in there. No, you couldn't have. I tried. Oh. Yeah. They're inside of those holes are slitted, but they're a little difficult. Okay. This one fell off. What do you mean this one fell off? No, I'm just kidding. Can I have a bolt and a washer, please? You'll have a nut and a washer. Here, you said you wanted a bolt and a washer? I, want, I don't want a bolt, I want a nut. That job? been a while since we goosed with this bad boy. We got the ball high enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and kick those lights on for you. I think I don't remember when I towed this last with. Oh, I towed it last with the new truck. We'll see how I like the, the ball height or the adjustment on the trailer. Because the new truck's taller and then it's got a turnover ball so it sticks up like that but i don't know maybe they're even stevens we'll find out but all the lights work sweet we have a solar panel but opposite the scene all right perfect it's pretty good with that deck on the neck on there the neck on the deck wait is that wrong anyway we're locked and loaded we'll see you guys tomorrow we'll go get that machine Well, the next morning, making our commute down to pick up the machine. Got stuck behind the Golden Arch Express. This guy doesn't know if he wants to do 70 or if he wants to do 53. All right, he's up and down all of it. I'm just kind of cruise controlling. I got a, another couple miles before my exit. Traffic's flowing good enough in the go fast lanes over there. I just hang out behind this guy for the time being. I don't like being that person just to cut somebody off and immediately take the exit. It's just whatever. I'll just hang out back here. And I got my little buddy back there this morning. I don't know if you guys can see him back there. Oh, freaking raccoon. Almost took out a vulture this morning that was working on a dead raccoon. That was neat. Just nailed him with the front bumper. He went right over the hood. So, we're headed back to Folsom. Snag this excavator. The guy's been there for a couple of days. The, his main transport's broken, and then David's is secondary, and he's out of town, so we bagged this little haul. We're just going to haul it back to his house, so shouldn't be a big deal. Got some good climbing, and we got another 50 minutes. Oh, yeah. Back down to Folsom. Look at this. Got a little bit of water trickling through again today. I like it. like seeing that rather impressive infrastructure goes into something like this they got all the spot right here for the fish to do the hopping this 
Come on, cars. Get, get going here. I read a story that they were blasting some dams because for a hundred years they've been impacting the travel of fish. It's like, well, there just went all that hydroelectric power. You can always make, uh, you know, a hop stream for the salmon to hop up like they do all over the place and not get rid of the dam that's being efficient and providing energy, but, you know. You want to go green, but you're deleting the stuff that makes green power. Figure that out. Green electricity. Check her out here. It's not a very tall dam compared to like Hoover and Bullards and stuff like that. But let's look at it over. Oh yeah, she's she's topped and locked. She's got a view of some lake over there. I don't know what lake it is, but it looks nice. Looks like he's all ready. Got the machine out and everything. Get a quick U-turn. Get on out of here. Well, the dang GoPro died. They had a backyard out there. You gotta drive over that curb. Not ideal. Not ideal. But we did it. Arguably first try. A couple sight laps. Gotta love it. There's a Toyota trying to pass me back there. They couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Telling the goose, they couldn't do it. People say any of these trucks, no matter what breed, they go, oh, they just don't have much power, something, something, something. Freaking, it's out doing a Toyota pickup truck, out pulling the trailer. That wasn't a small hill I just went over the top of either. Stay green. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Yay. That light normally lets you freaking hang out for about four days right there. We're heading towards Reno. That's in Nevada, you see? Small Vegas. Secondary stab at a Vegas. It's called Reno. Let's head that way. Alright. Uh, nothing too much more to report. We're just cruising on back. Home base. That's all there is. Talk a little bit about 35, 5500 difference. I mainly wanted to pull today with this truck just to do it. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. It's a lot easier just to use the 5500. This truck is very capable and it's it's always impressive how well it handles that kind of weight but realistically compared to a 5500 i'd say a 5500 is hitting like the specialty kind of a category because not everybody needs one i myself don't quite need one but i need one at the same time i'm not hauling payload in the machine on the back of the truck that often but when i do it pays to have the 5500 it just, I like the bigger frame, I like the bigger brakes. And the main thing is they come with 19 fives with a 10 lug pattern. So you got a super tough tire. So that backing in that spot, I should have fired up the camera, but it's one of those deals. We're just here to get the job done. You got to drive over a curb to get up in there with the steers. Like the one set of duels got to go over the curb. It's not ideal being loaded. Uh, hopefully we can, can, you know, convince him and fix in his driveway so it's easier to do something like that or i'm just gonna probably leave it out on the road if i do that every day i'll just leave that out on the road but we made it happen but if you got 19 fives 
your sidewall is way tougher than these 17s. And it, oh, what was that? It hit freaking bug. That is one of the big upgrades. Bigger brakes, bigger tires and wheels. A lot tougher. But we'll cruise on back to the house. I want to do a video that since this thing saddled up with the, uh, the old trailer and the deck on the neck, I think it's a pretty sweet setup. And I'll show you guys what my plan is long time, long term idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I got the deck on the neck and it actually makes the ride a lot better. I would say having that deck on the neck on there because we got a little bit more tongue weight and the trailer tongue doesn't bounce over the humps. These trailers, their short configuration is they'll go with hydraulic dove and I wouldn't say they're balanced, but every once in a while when they're empty, the, they come off slightly off the ball a little bit, kind of slap it just because going over bumps and stuff like that, it, it happens. Every one of these 30 footers I've towed or been around, that's what they all do. So I wanna show you guys the ideas that I have with the deck on the neck getting involved. But right now, it's very planted. The home base here. Now, here's my idea for bringing the deck on the neck into play. I don't know if it's gonna work or how practical it will be, but theoretically, if I put some ramps right here, so that I could drive a truck partway onto that. Could I fit two? I don't think so. But I wanted to see how it would play out. Nevertheless, I want to put the deck back up there. I don't really use this trailer too much anymore. And behind the 3500, it's it doesn't really pencil out to tow anything bigger than an 080. Uh, it just, the numbers don't spread across the board. You know, the truck doesn't have enough rating as far as you know the door sticker so you got 14 26 you only got 40 you'd be pushing it right there uh so it goes down to the tires and what your door sticker would be on certain stuff like that the 5500 setup with the 40k it i got enough numbers to have all kinds of leeway and have all kinds of room so this one is a lot better uh overall setup it just you got to pay to play and it took me a while to learn that and I do miss having the toolbox up here for putting my tie downs and such into it. So this one, I'll crawl over there real quick just to end this video. Hey, look, another 080. I like those machines. Ugh. I wanna show you guys my idea. Let's see if I can find something that will be a suitable replacement because I had a small toolbox right here. Obviously, it's it wouldn't fit now, it couldn't open up, but I don't have a drawer put stuff in i think that'd be cool came up with a different plan so i could still use this toolbox without having to go spend some more money on another one me and my boy knocked this out the other day got some little chains on it so it's got something to hold up your stuff look at that these are actually the latches that came off of the new truck when i swapped that out to something different i like it Needs a touch rattle can. That Harbor Freight paint don't really hold up for the day. Not bad though. All right guys, that's a good way to burn slightly over four hours. Round trip, we'll see you guys in the next one. See the coastal mountain ranges, that's pretty neat. See you guys.